Hey, it's Dustin here. If you've ever done anything that's outside of the ordinary, that's extraordinary. Um, oftentimes they will coach you to have a why. Why is it that you're doing what you're doing? So if you can keep your eyes focused on the prize, it'll give you motivation to continue day after day to do things that are outside of the ordinary, to do things that are extraordinary. Well, one of my, um, actually my life mission statement, I'll just be honest with you, is um, to live life extraordinary with Jesus at the center. So I'm a man of faith, I'm a Christian, and uh, so I want to live extraordinary. I think that we're meant as people for more than just the ordinary, and so, um, so I want to live extraordinary. One of the things that that has led me to on my personal journey is to do uh, some, some entrepreneurial type things. One of those things is um, I'm, a, I'm a hemp farmer. And um, we, we grew 10 acres of hemp, industrial hemp, uh, for CBD. Um, we processed it in a facility that I actually am the marketing director for. And then um, we bottled, formulated and bottled CBD tincture bottles that we now sell on our website at greenmethodfarms.com. So, uh, so that's kind of one of the things that I'm doing. i got actually a few things that I'm doing when it comes to entrepreneurship. Um, but the, I want to share with you the why uh, for farming hemp because it was a big, it, we had to step out in faith and it was a big deal. Um, we invested uh, a lot of money in that farm and we've invested a lot of money in setting up uh, the products and everything, everything that we've done with this endeavor. It's cost a lot of money and it's costed time. And uh, as you may have seen in some of our other videos, one of the, one of the reasons that I wanted to do this was because I just thought it would be good for my kids to be able to teach them uh, responsibility and teach them what it's like to work hard. And so working on a farm uh, has taught them that. They've had to uh, be stretched in ways, physically. Uh, they've had to work longer hours than they've wanted to and it's, it's, it's creating character within them. So that's a value of mine. That's a why. Um, financially, the main why that I have, and this is it, I'm just gonna share my goal with you is I want to be able to take my kids on an international trip to meet the kids that they sponsor. So every month, we sponsor two kids. Um, my oldest son, Xavier, he sponsors a, a child in the Dominican Republic, and his name is Yandel. He's 14 years old. And uh, so my dream is to be able to take Xavier on a trip to meet Yandel because let's face it, we're just sending 42 bucks a month uh, overseas and um, it doesn't really become real unless you can see it in person. I want him to be able to see it in person. My younger son, Zeke, sponsors a, a kid named Ambo. He's in the Philippines, he's 12 years old. So it is the, the why behind me uh, deciding to farm and me doing these other, these other things that, that are, you know, they're, they're entrepreneurial. There's always risk involved in any entrepreneurial endeavor. So the why that I have, the thing that keeps me focused on the prize is I want to be able to take, this is it. This is number one. You might think, oh, maybe it's, you know, making a million bucks. Maybe it's paying off your house. Maybe it's whatever. No, it seems like a little goal, but this is absolutely the most important thing on my radar right now is I want to be able to take my kids on an international trip to meet their child that they support. That's it. Why is that important to me? Well, um, I want my kids to live extraordinary as well. That's my personal goal. I want to live extraordinary, but I want them to live extraordinary. And it's a belief of mine or it's a value of mine that I need to expand their worldview in order to do that. Um, we live in a town. It's not very big. It's about 30,000 people. It's not terribly small, but it's not huge either. And uh, most of our life is right here in town. And so if I don't deliberately uh, do something to expand the worldview of my kids, this is all they're going to know. They're not going to know even what it's like to live on the East Coast. They're not going to know the difference between states, uh, that other people live differently than we do. And so I think that one, it's going to give them more of an appreciation for something that we already do. I mean, we pray for these kids every night um, and that's just part of our lifestyle, but how more real would that be if we were able to actually go visit them? What type of an impact would that do for my kids? It's really important to me. So, um, so anyway, that's my why. That's why I am doing this. That's what I want to achieve. 
the number one goal that I have from the things that I'm doing is that we would be able to have, and it's not cheap, that's the thing. If this was just like a thousand dollar trip, we could simply go visit them. Uh, it's not, it's more like $10,000. So um, for some of you that might not seem like a big, idea, big deal, for me, it's kind of a big deal because that's $10,000 um, that we could spend somewhere else. So we could do something else. So I need to be able to make enough money in what we're doing to justify a trip like that. So anyway, that's my why. I farmed hemp, we made these bottles, we're selling these bottles um, so that we can, uh, so that I can take my kids on a trip that will expand the worldview. It might give them appreciation for um, the things that we have. I think they'll be able to see and understand, sorry that it's dark right now, the sun's behind me, uh, th uh, that they'll be able to see and understand what it's like to live in poverty and maybe their heart will go to these people. Maybe that impacts their life to such a way that they dedicate their life to helping people in poverty. Uh, maybe they work for an organization like Charity Water. By the way, every bottle that you purchase, we donate $5 to Charity Water. It's a charity that I believe in because a lot of the world's population doesn't have access to clean drinking water. And I just thought that it was cool. Um, it's, it's something that we already support, but just the idea of going from oil to water, right? Oil usually repels water, but when you buy CBD oil, from greenmethodfarms.com, $5 of every bottle, or yes, every bottle you purchase, $5 we donate to Charity Water. Um, a lot of the world doesn't have clean drinking water. They travel miles to get really crummy water that's infested with uh, germs, which gives them disease. It's dirty. There's animals, uh, feces in this water. They don't have access to it. And so um, it's a passion of mine that we continue uh, to help and improve and fix, ultimately, the water crisis. And in so doing, um, I'm, I'm donating $5 from everything that we sell on our website um, to Charity Water. So, when you buy a bottle from us, one, you're saving money, you're getting an excellent product, we farmed it ourselves. If you look at the, uh, the COAs, you'll see that, our, that the CBD uh, that, we, that we processed, that we extracted from our hemp, it's, it's good stuff. I mean, it is high in CBD, and it's high in the other minor cannabinoids. So if you're into CBD, like this is top notch, top shelf type stuff. Not only that, Albert, my partner Albert and I, and the kids, we're the ones doing all the work behind this. We can sell it to you for a cheaper price than many other um, big CBD labels. It's just as good, if not better. Actually, it's probably better than a lot of the premium brands um, because they're mass producing it. A lot of time, like, like this is legit, anyway. So you're getting it for cheaper. Not only that, we're donating five bucks from the bottle that you purchase to bring clean drinking water to a developing nation. Not only that, you are helping me achieve my goals to be able to um, <laughs> uh, expand my kids' worldview so they can go visit uh, their, their compassion kids in the Dominican Republic and the Philippines. So uh, if you're into CBD, if you wanna buy CBD, buy it from us, that's, you have a quality product and you know exactly what we're doing uh, when you purchase from us. You know exactly what we're doing with the money. This is a, uh, this is a family farm. It's a simple operation. It's a good product. So that's it. If you have any questions, go ahead and post those in the comment section below. Uh, please like and subscribe uh, to my channel. There's going to be more of this. And uh, go on over to greenmethodfarms.com and buy yourself a CBD tincture. So, um, we're experimenting with bubble gum. I think it'll be great for kids. But not only that, I love it. It's my favorite flavor. Um, it's it's such a cool it's such a cool little flavor. So anyway, that's gonna be coming out soon. We also offer it in natural for those of you that just like the natural taste of hemp. And we're also uh, we also have a mint, which leaves a real nice, cool, refreshing taste in your mouth. So anyway, that's it. Greenmethodfarms.com, and uh, that's it. Talk to you later.